I'm a ninja. I'm a hoodie ninja. Let down your guard, ninja star. Now you're injured. Bad luck, nunchuck. Break your finger. Got a bolt, because I don't want to linger. There's a wasp, and I think it has a stinger. Bad toads fell down the clinger ringer. And this concludes another chapter of Something About Ninjas by some guy who was on Adult Swim. Perhaps we'll continue that tomorrow. Welcome to another Short Horror Saturday here at twitch.tv slash purblindgamer. And I hope that everybody is doing well. And hey, Killing You Softly, how are you tonight? And Dragon of the West and Stock and Dojilon, welcome in. Hope you're all having great weekends. Cheers to that. Mm, water. Mm. <sighs> I managed to get some rest today. Which is good. Yeah. Work was eh, weird this past week. Could have been a lot worse. But uh, yeah, happy it's the weekend. And almost 500 streams. Which is crazy. So... Yeah, that's the big announcement today. We're going to be having the 500th stream special tomorrow, uh, where we'll play a horror game, and there will be game giveaways and visits from old friends and probably me having to eat and drink weird stuff. Hmm, maybe we should bring back Legacy of the Grain Lady ASMR. Hmm. Then again, I don't know that uh, Chad would appreciate this. Hmm. <laughs> So that's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody who came out to my last couple of streams, which were on Wednesday we played more of the Doom reboot, and on Sunday we played uh, Bruxin Luana and Revenge on the Streets 3. I'll have to finish that witch game soon. And yeah, as I promised, Tonight we're going to play a couple of games that I played when back when they first came out. And they're Flash games, back when Flash was all the rage. House of Dead Ninjas and Super House of Dead Ninjas. Yeah, yeah back when Adult Swim still put out Flash games. And, yeah, we'll just try a few rounds of House of Dead Ninja, then move on to Super House of Dead Ninjas and see if we can beat the game on hard mode. I, uh, I've been practicing. And I think there's a reasonable chance. If you haven't played Super House of Dead Ninjas, I very much recommend it. <clears throat> so. <laughs> oh, have you played those Killing You Softly? <clears throat> you really are. Well, the Super House of Dead Ninjas really was amazing. Um. Let's see. Oh, awesome. <clears throat> Oops. They still seem to be slightly congested, though. And I can play these through Flashpoint, which is amazing program that uh, is archived Flash. It, Basically, it, you download it, and it's a database of, I don't know, tens of thousands of Flash games and movies? Maybe that's an exaggeration. And you download the ones you want through their program and then play them. Yeah. No browser required. Suck on that, Adobe. Or whoever made Flash. Macromedia. Well, we can be angry with Adobe for plenty of reasons. Frog and Blender. I haven't I haven't heard of that one. But I mean there were there were many, many flash games. Like starting in the late nineties. Yeah, I remember downloading some even before they were <laughs> Turn that down slightly. <laughs> yeah. 
Noisy ninjas. One. We won't be able to beat it because it's an infinite game. And kind of in the. I think it said it was inspired by the NES games. <laughs> yeah! has been standing on the outskirts of an oblivion for ages, for eons. As such, we are prone to many unusual and unnatural tests of our strength, and because of it, we are proud to be home to some of the finest warriors in all of Chunjiang. However, there has been one apparition that has haunted our lives since the day it rose out of the mists of time, framed by the silvery light of the moon. The ziggurat of, in, of Intinum, as it has been known for as long as we can remember, has come with its own legend, that of a one-armed warrior ninja, strong of heart and stubborn of nature. He scaled the walls of the terrible tower to reach its only entry point, a hole in the highest extremity, and plowed his way downwards through all manner of inner traps, illusions, and layer upon layer of historical artifacts. Every element present is slowly to, every every element present to slowly drive him insane. When he reached the final floor, it is said that he found the greatest treasure of any, and transcended their, this world to enter the spirit lands, where every great warrior earns their right to rest. But did such events actually transpire? And if so, could it be repeated by a new challenger? <sighs> oh, thank you, Stock. And <laughs> uh, no, I haven't uh, haven't quite figured out how to beat infinite games yet. Unless there's a built-in cheat, or I use a game genie. They have game genies for browsers, right? <sighs> Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Let's play. That's nothing. Uh, now, 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 now. Oops. Forgot if you submit score, the game freezes because it's 
No longer possible to submit score. Oops. Easily fixed. Wish it didn't load so fast because it has a cool, like, NES style game box. <laughs> Super House of Dead Ninjas. They, they did it like an enhanced way you can sell it on Steam. I should probably buy that for that Steam instead of it. be worth it. <laughs> I'm just playing the original Flash releases. <laughs> Electric Humalales or something. Seem to be a bit of a louder game. Yeah, let me. There, hopefully that's better. down to 7%. <laughs> I thought ninjas were supposed to be like silent assassins. Not just, you know, bellowing every time they step on a floor. Swim had some pretty good games. Very not family friendly games. Uh, Viva Caligula. Zombie prostitutes. You think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. Or no. It wasn't called zombie prostitutes, but it was something like really similar to that. <laughs> I'm not liking that camera. Timer. Ah. Hmm. 
Porcupine Ninja. And the bird ninjas. We have bombs and shurikens, I just keep forgetting to use them. Oh, this month. Well, damn. Almost for 200. Yeah, I've played the Flash version enough. I should buy the full version. Oh, is it already delisted? Suck. And I think, oh yeah, they did Fist Puncher too. That's right. It was, it was one of the first games. Oh, that's a relief that they haven't yet. Maybe they'll keep it up. I think Fist Puncher by Adult Swim was the first game I specifically bought on Steam. Little did I realize I would soon be buying dozens of them. What? I was like, I don't know about this whole digital games uh, distribution. They don't even have boxes of manuals. I don't trust it. Penny pinching publishers. sound effects too. <laughs> of course, some games did have loud sound effects. I remember some arcade games being noisier than others. Oh damn yo yo knife throwing dog ghost or whatever you are. The level gets this dark. It's hard to harder to see the floors. Ah. Oh. We took the back door. get to like floor 300 but I've played <laughs> I believe I've gotten to 500 before mm. so fast paced and addictive is really useful. Not quite as useful as in the second game. Yeah, I might actually be doing better without all that yelling going on. I don't know.
There's some pretty interesting death animations, some of them. Oh wow. There's plenty of extra lives here. I think by the time you get to floor 300, you see, you know, like all the enemies the game has to offer. sometimes than they are in the second game. <laughs> yeah! And then that, that's it. Ghost worms to catch the ghost fish. I like it. some uh, strange enemies in here, <laughs> including Womp from Super Mario World. Why? Why not? Shoot. I need that time. Don't attack you if you don't mess with them. Ooh, extra life. Oh no. Missed the door. Oh, good thing I did miss the door. In that life. Yeah, I love that you can pick up the shurikens again.
Birds have a lot of feathers. I'm talking Chuck Rock 2 level of feathers. <laughs> oh man, 291. Mm. One more round of this and then we'll move into, on to Super House of Dead Ninjas. Here, I turned down the volume slightly. So we can try turning on the sound effects again. In the full game experience. Super house of noisy news. They die pretty noisily too. Especially the porcupine ninja. Just laughed at me when it killed me. one. No, like something comes to chase you when the time runs out, you just instantly die. Yeah, I forgot you can run while crouching. <laughs> right in the nick of time, right? Oh, no, this one can't jump back up once you've fallen down. run. Ah. Okay. Try it one more time and then we'll move on. <clears throat> this was on new grounds back in the day too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Anyone in, ja anyone in chat speak Japanese? Care to weigh in on what uh, the ninja is saying to us? So we're almost in dragon country anyway. And that was House of Dead Ninjas. And it was popular enough that they decided to make a sequel. Just like Metroid was popular, they decided to make Super Metroid. Super Mario was, or Mario was popular, they decided to make Super Mario. Just uh, ahead of the trend of the other Super games. player you uh you feeling okay there we go <laughs> this one's much bigger <laughs> and much more reasonable volume too
like that. Oh yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure, dragon. It was lurking in your stream a little bit today. How did that go? Oh, and thank you very much. This is where I begin my journey. I am Nintai Ryoko, Ryoko, the Crimson Ninja, and I hail from a village in a distant part of Chunjan. Not that it matters. What does matter is that the dilapidated old lodge before me now, which stands among the rem amongst the remnants of a deserted village, and the tower. Legend has it that a one-armed ninja reached the very bottom and found the greatest treasure, which was covered by the buttons that control the turning of these pages. Something about idle tongues. He ultimately fell to the ground and skinned his knee. Anyway, that is all in the past. Oh there. Here for a second. But how? The present, however, brings new stories. I do not want treasure like so many before me, for that is a fool's errand. I have no need for such trinkets. What I am after are answers. Recent whispers tell of the horrific demon Abargus and his diabolical minions who have been terrorizing the nearby villages. This one had already fallen, and more will no doubt follow. Stories abound of innocents being dragged screaming to the tower, the ziggurat of Infinum, and locked up forever. What happens to them there? No one knows, but I will. So this is how one enters the tower. Little wonder so few people have seen the inside. She drops off her glider, falls in. Hmm, no welcome committee? Strange. I have no choice but to go downwards, therefore I will do so, and quickly. I've heard rumors of gigantic beasts soaked in the blood of trespassers that give chase if one's time runs out. A chance encounter with such monsters would be unwelcome. Aha! So, I have use for my weapon at last. A small band of inexperienced ninjas will mill around before me There'll be no match for my gleaming blade. I attack with the presses of the Z-key, beheading some of the ninjas. I strike downwards by holding down in the air. I, and I run, jump, and press down to perform a devastating airspin attack in the blink of an eye. They are all dead. Or so I thought. A fantasy fairy tale fox thief readies its throwing. I beat it to the throwing knife, but I beat it to the draw by pressing X to fire a shuriken at it, cutting short its pitiful existence. And now, the real fun begins. My old master taught me an experimental new rage technique that I can use when I have slain enough of my enemies with it. I become an invincible killing machine my enemies are easily slaughtered. This may be easier than I thought. As I round the corner, though, I remind myself that I should never let my guard down, for anything could attack me. And, shamed as I am to admit it, 
I cannot withstand many blows. Well, this is most unusual. A sealed treasure room. Time seems to pause. No enemies approach when I am here. It feels almost peaceful. Or at least it would be without that skeleton sat in the corner. I wonder how he died. Well, well. Come here. Hello there, ninja. Couldn't help noticing you staring at the goods over there. They call me Smither. And it just so happens that I prepared a nice treat for a fine baby such as yourself. And you can find it in any one of these three chests. Treasure chests, I mean. You only get to choose one, though, sweet cakes. And I thought reanimated skeletons were creepy enough. I suppose I had little choice but to do as he said. Behold my luck, a magic fire talisman. This allows me to blast flames from my person with a press of the space bar. Come back to see the skeleton soon, okay, honey? Kaboom! I hope no one heard that. I had little choice, though. Pressing C to use a bomb in order to destroy fragile blocks was my only way out of the room. It was fortuitous that I remembered to bring them. I have achieved enough recognition from the lodgekeeper to be granted access to other weapons. Now, perhaps, I should have brought the Kusarigama with its long range, or the Nunchucks and their upgraded ability to deflect projectiles. Or maybe I should try and earn some more weapons. Uh-oh. I have been spotted. With lightning reflexes, I held down the jump key and built up enough power to jump super high over the cursed statue's flame breath. Nevertheless, I was careless. I almost died, but I must pay attention to my surroundings for death may come from any direction. It is proving far too easy to lose track of how far I have been traveling downwards. I do not know where I am. Is this... 100, perhaps? At least the feared minions of Abargus haven't found me yet. Well, I suppose I spoke too soon. To be continued. Next on Super House of Dead Ninjas, our hero has encountered Homer, the first of many minions. Can she overcome his fearsome reality warping powers? Stay tuned for issue number two. Free with issue number two. House of Dead Ninjas Trump Cards. Battle with your favorite characters from the hit games. Fight fire with fire or frog with fox. Beat your friends with powers. We hope you enjoy your complimentary free x-ray specs with this issue. No need to wonder what your next power up will be. You can spot them all a mile off. Unmissable. And hey, Great White Knoll. How are you doing tonight? Hey. Mm. <clears throat> oh, another adventurer. What a surprise. <laughs> These are all the weapons and things you can unlock. I already... I already unlock... I think I already unlocked, yeah, an additional life. I died 50 times before starting the stream. <laughs> oh, you had a D&D &D game. Awesome. That's good, it seemed to go well. I'm doing all right, thanks. Enjoying this classic Flash game. I feel like I might beat it on hard mode tonight. You never know. Play it on normal first. Hmm. Do, you have, do you have a lot of experience running D&D &D games, Great White Knoll? <laughs> yes, but not mine. Yours. Jump, 
You have some. I've never tried running a game. Big guys take two hits. I had a couple of RPG games, like, there were a few sessions long. Fate was running a couple of times. Still, haven't done it much. And now the game proper pawns. I was killed by a bomb on Saturday. That was me. Should kill some with bombs so I can increase my bomb stock. Time. And for the normal playthrough, we'll uh. throw the Molotov directly in front of them. Most advantageous when thrown while in the air. Oh, like most people aren't particular about how good you are at running it. They just enjoy playing the game. And then I grabbed it anyway. Bombs can destroy spikes and other things. Wow, this one too. Thanks. Thanks, Great White Noel. I'll take this down a little bit too. This is not as loud as the original House of Dead Ninjas. Yeah. I guess this is. No one knows how Smither the Skeletons gets into treasure rooms. Frankly, we'd prefer him to leave them alone. Other things. But yeah, this game is a remake of House of Dead Ninjas, which we just played, and then. I guess it's just an enhanced version of the Super House of Dead Ninjas, and that's the one you can buy on Steam. Streamer, I'm afraid. Streamer, you must pause my stream. Streamer, We've got a raid. Raiders, a raider, leading raiders. Welcome, raider. Welcome, raiders. Nifty Other raiders, mass. alligators. Raider, raider, grapple. Welcome in. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? You guys, please go check out Nifty Ness. He's a retro streamer. What was it you were streaming tonight? 
Oh, doing a just chatting stream? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> and welcome in everyone, I'm Purblind Gamer. I'm a legally blind retro and variety streamer who plays a lot of action and adventure and shooter games, and in particular horror games. Every Saturday we play short horror games, and yeah, tonight we're playing Super House of Dead Ninjas, which is a, a Flash game that was made by Adult Swim in like 2011, I believe. And it's such a classic. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Court cases with questionable defendants and then karaoke. Fun. Any particular interesting court cases tonight? Yeah. We're in this giant tower and we're descending and yeah, trying to kill demons and get answers to what's going on. Oh, and we just made it to the first boss. And I forgot to change my scene. Oh, citizens wanting to represent themselves in court. When... Hmm. Yeah, they don't necessarily have the extensive knowledge of law that uh, would help them succeed at representing someone, namely themselves, in court. recognize laws they agree with. That's a, you can't pick and choose like that. It's like cafeteria legalism. Right. It's an achievement if you only use your sword to kill one of the bosses, so Mantis would be easier. They want to use the court system while also claiming that the courts have no power over them. Abyss of nature. Then why bother using them? Yeah, the judges are like, but I do have power over you. That's why you're here. Fox thief. Hey. Tried to claim he was on indigenous land while in the courtroom, but uh, I mean, it's not like the courtroom was built on indigenous land. Oh wait. Yeah. Well, it was former indigenous land. No matter entirely. Hey. There are more of those ghost worms. And this game has ghost fish, so we can use them to catch the fish. Indigenous land is a matter of perspective, and the judge is like, well, it's my perspective that this is not indigenous land. <laughs> Classic. Racking up the achievements. Smithers, the suggested skeleton. Restrooms are for customers only. Well, the pretty ones. Right, we can only hold one magic now. Well. Magic. Magic. Got it. 
first. But I think by beating the boss with only using a sword, I unlock the super katana. First streams I didn't twitch things right before they shut it down. Those guys are so cool. You can hear them and see their eyes glowing. Watching all the rest of them be visible. Unstoppable Turtle Torment. These frogs deserve to be put in a blender. But, since they don't have a blender, I settled for a sword. Ouch. One thing I absolutely hate about the third world is the black skeletons. Like, if you're looking really carefully, you can see them, but you'll you lose a lot of lives to the black skeletons. Using nunchucks acts like a slower spin attack, which might benefit more cautious ninjas. Use 
hospital. I'll draw the tongue. This tower has no bottom, baby. X-ray specs. And the ones with the ones are more slightly more powerful, but they always got powers. Smithers the skeleton to take a break and pause your timer. Go check out Asthma Dog. Can you play more Hell Divers or. Oh, yeah, Subnautica. How are you liking that? You know, a lot of people said that's a fun game. It's a pretty big game, too. Yeah. Almost Cabela level. Armina, this is a family friendly stream. You can only get hit him with the katana. Oh, the game scares you. <laughs> Pretty creepy sometimes, huh? I don't know if we'll beat it this time. Thalassophobia. I feel like I should know that one, but I don't. Yeah. I ain't too good at Greek, you know. Oh. 
fear of open water slash the ocean. Got it. Game over. Hmm. Well. <clears throat> Now we can get mm -hmm. more powerful weapons. Alright. I think we can unlock something if we use the nunchucks to deflect a projectile. Hmm. Finish a minion off with a bomb. Oh, that's actually really useful. And we unlocked the good magic. That's good. Oh yeah, if you have fear of the ocean, like yeah, so not going to be terrifying. Hear how many times we've done it. We've unlocked plenty of items. And this time is like talked to ten ghosts in one game. three times in a game. We can start from the real safety now. Explore your surroundings if you wish to find them. Oh, I'm doing okay, thanks. Yes, and really enjoying the game. I made this game a little bit when it first came out. Once or twice since. And I wanted to try it again. I was practicing a bit before. But then uh, we start, started with a fresh like, save file so I could unlock everything. I'm always up for a good boating. Crush smithers. The nunchuck has limited range but can hit dangers above and below. You useful against enemies who drop from above. Now it is an old game. It's a flash game, so. Hold the jump button to glide down. Or find a parachute. At least the big skeleton is noisy, so sometimes you can hear him. Acolytes in the bar, or so whatever they are. Yeah, it's a really good flash game. And there were, 
Here's some surprisingly polished flash games. Okay, I prefer the super katana. And let me unlock the gun. That's really useful against a Vargas. Mm -hmm. The ricochet of litigious possibilities. Just don't blow yourself up, dear. Such a mess. Token gun. Keep rage going for 30 seconds. Should be able to do that. There is no place for you here. It'd be easier if I start from the very top. Time. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about it. Adults are making some good things. Good bowling. Hmm. Yeah. Usually, once you've ah, unlocked the gun and the wind magic, the Vargas is pretty manageable. But harder to beat him than the one on Ninja on one continue, which you have to do in hard mode. easy, but you'll get more points if you start from the beginning. I'll survive longer if I don't listen to you ghosts and your inane tips. Climb in rage mode! wants to talk to you about his wife, just saying.
Congratulations. But you need to finish the game on hard mode for the true ending. Jeez. Like, like mystical fighters uh, way of thinking. Also, though they like 2D games set in Japan. Did we unlock?
boomerangs fun to use. Ah. 
fairies came in. Come through the lost space. Again. Life straightened Over. out. What's a not good craftsmanship? Let's speak to your blacksmith about that. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got the gun. The remote detonation bomb. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting you can change costumes too. Blue moon suit. Yeah. We're probably pretty close to getting the plus two life upgrade. Easy way to get it. Ah, I could blow myself to bits all day. your lives if you die in the tutorial area. Should be able to start on hard mode in the Royal Sanctum now.
Crushing unlocked. Oh, that might have been it. And hundredth, one hundredth death. Laid, but not to rest, just laid. Well, lecherous skeletons were bearing gifts. Hey, 
tempted to get greedy and try to get hits on him because he's pretty tough and I want him to be done quicker, but that just means I end up dying. I've seen it down. You can save down it.
Barely. Hey, Mr. Bear. Crimson Ninja, I am a Bargus, the spirit of the tower. You have separated me from the body of a one-armed ninja. And now my control over him fades. For that even I commend you. Though he has long since lost his life to the tower, his spirit resides still in what remains of him. You have two choices. If you still feel the need to honor his achievements in life, you may take him to the village and do with whatever it is that humans see fit to do with their fallen. If you feel he has not atoned for his sins, I shall cast him to the depths of hell, where he will spend eternity in agony. Now, make your choice. Hmm. Let me carry him back. Massive respect. deserted me in my search for a marsh of material wealth, I came to return you to the place where you are most needed. You are forgiven. Father. Oh. We get to see her without her ninja uniform. You have skills. But maybe try again. There is more to discover than you found. What was that? Was that a cat? Was that what was talking to us this whole time? Oh, <laughs> 
Like he can kill you through it.
let's go to hell. An interesting choice. Fool, you will join him. Welcome to my domain. Welcome to my world. You know, I've really got to stop trusting demons. In general. Not just in video games. Would you just have your own little corner in hell that you've done something special with? Maybe Satan gives the demons a fair amount of leeway in how they can decorate their places. Oh, 
So if your grenades hit you, then they don't. Even easier to see the black skeletons, it's so dark. Floor 90. And look up. How many levels above this is your name is? Game over. It's endless. They're just like the original game. Hmm. Well. Let's give it one more go. I bet I can at least get to floor 100 with Abby's domain. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think I'll probably wrap up for the night here. Unlocked. What do we unlock? Mm-hmm. Hmm? We'll play the game ten times to get this explosive thingy. Danger on danger. So daft. And that's House of Dead Ninjas and Super House of Dead Ninjas. <clears throat> yeah. that's, it's a fun game. <laughs> took, took me a good while to practice enough and get good at it that I could <laughs> beat a Vargas on hard mode. Yeah. Uh, so many good Flash games, um, games, and I'm glad that so many of them are preserved and still playable. Quite easily, too. Yeah, fans really pick up the slack when yeah, the developers don't bother. Mm -hmm. So, I'll find somebody to raid. That's what's coming up on stream. Well, tomorrow as you may have heard me mention once or twice, is the 500th stream special. If this is only 498, how is the next stream going to be 500? Well, you see, the next stream is going to be 500 because you need to shut the fuck up, Airplane Lion! Everybody is a mathematician. Yeah, I don't know where I'll... I'll, co I'll cook the numbers somehow. And so tomorrow we'll be playing... A horror game. Specifically, Trilby's Notes. The third game in the Chizo Mythos. And the reason for this is, I've never played this one, but for my second ever test stream, I replayed Five Days a Stranger. Second and third, I guess. And then for my 100th stream, I played, I replayed Seven Days a Skeptic. And now it's time to finally continue the, the uh, so far, excellent series of horror adventures. And I believe this one has a text parser. Fun. It'll be like Mind Shadow. And we'll do some other stuff. We'll have some fun redemptions and we'll do some game giveaways. Maybe I'll have a song of the day. It should be a good time. And I'm going to try and start at uh, like 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So that's 9 p.m. Eastern, and I don't know what time it is in Australia. S someone, uh, someone else can figure that out. But I hope everybody will be able to make it for that. And then, 
I don't know if I'll be able to do another bonus stream reading more of Crater's Gold on Monday or Tuesday. I'll try to. Mm. My throat's still not 100%. Mm. And Wednesday, we'll continue Doom Reboot. And yeah, who knows what we'll do for Short Horror Saturday next week. Let's find somebody to raid. Oh yeah, and I'll get a bloody haircut tomorrow. I look moderately presentable. God, Eye of the Beholder got a Sega CD port. It's the same Eye of the Beholder I'm thinking of. Oh, wow. Somebody's playing Taz and Escape from Mars. I got that game as a kid. It, it is not an easy game. Pretty sure. 90% sure it's harder than Tasmania. Oh, it is... Mm. Oh, great. Honey Butters is still online. And it's her birthday and her stream anniversary. Wow. Four year stream anniversary. She's playing Diablo Iv. Hmm. Wonder what the Iv stands for. Evangelical, probably. We should go say hi to Honey Butters. And uh, everybody wish her a happy birthday. the channel you idiot. oh there's an extra space so it's like uh, I don't know space isn't a channel <laughs> mm, there we go uh, thank you for everybody for coming to hang out with me and enjoy this old classic with me and let me work through beating it on hard mode <laughs> and you guys can find me on Twitter and MySpace where I post stream announcements and random stuff. And you can find VODs of my past streams up on YouTube. And, yeah, I hope that everybody has a good night. And, if you, and I hope that if you fall through the floor in your house, there is not an angry pig trying to kill you. Although, free pork chops, just saying. Maybe, you know, maybe it would be good if there were angry pigs under the house. I should look in the basement. <laughs> Have a good night, Stock. Uh, yeah, but I hope I'll see here everybody for the 500th stream. Yeah, I should put up I should put up a goal, trying to get to 500 followers. And, uh, yeah, say hi to Honey Butters and wish her a happy birthday. There's no place for you here after we raid. <laughs> <laughs>